sometimes when you're making music, you might get a vocal that's like a part of a splice pack or a remix competition that has reverb built into the sound. Like there's not a separate reverb layer. It's just all in that same audio file. So you won't necessarily have a clean, dry version of the vocal. That's where this new tool, Dverb, is going to come in very handy. Dverb is an algorithm to basically remove reverb from an audio sample. I'm going to play a quick section of this vocal right here that I've downloaded, and pay attention to the reverb in it. The reverb is built in, like so. Just waiting for a moment to breathe. Just give me some time. I need to be in control. So you could hear it is a pretty heavily reverbed vocal. So how would we go about changing that? What you want to do is on the top left of the sample over here, press this button. And there's a new button now, Dverb. You can click on this and you see this is my first time doing it. I've got to download it. And now it's opened up. We choose a profile. For this one, we're going to choose voice. And it's going to analyze it right now. All right, here we go. So this is where we're going to be able to do this. We have our mix knob. All the way to the left is just the original sample and all the way to the right is 100% processed. Now, something I want to show you, if you leave this at 100% processed, meaning it's the effect in its entirety, it's not going to sound high quality. It's going to sound quite bad, actually. Take a listen to this. Just waiting for a moment to breathe. Just give me some time. Yeah, it's nice and dry, but I wouldn't really think that's too usable. It doesn't sound great. Instead, what you want to do is take it down just a little bit. Instead of using 100%, as much as you could dial back in is going to make this sound a lot better in quality. It'll probably sound pretty good around here, like 60 something or so. Let's give it a listen. Just waiting for a moment to breathe. Versus. Just waiting for a moment to breathe. See, there's still a little bit of reverb in there but it's a lot less noticeable than it is in the original. And of course, we could try pushing it a little bit more. It's just once you get towards 100, it becomes a little too thin. And that could be a case with this vocal as well, because this is a heavily stacked vocal. There's harmonies in there, but this is early stages of this tool as well. It could be getting better in time. And overall, for a first version being put out now, I think this is quite nice. And depending on the vocal, you could get some really good results. But that wraps us up for this video. I hope this was useful to you. Like and subscribe if it was, and thank you for watching.